Hey everybody. Today we're gonna to take a look at taking apart the VCA section on our uh, new Heritage 2000 console and uh, replacing the battery. Let's check it out. Okay, so here is a close up of our VCA module. Now on the Midas Heritage 2000 consoles, this is the automation module and our 10 VCAs are in one modular board. Um, so we've got some torque screws that we've got to deal with here, which I don't have a Torx driver, but I do have an Allen wrench set. So we'll see if that, uh, if that takes care of it. So, um, just looking at a, a close up here before we take this all apart, we've got our 10, uh, Penny and Giles faders. And here is our automation section. And here's just a quick overview of what of what that looks like. So um, the manual said that, or there was a P-Touch label on the console and on the case that said um, the uh, battery in here was changed in March of 2015. So before we power this on, I want to get that changed and uh, we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're going to take this VCA module apart. We're going to first start by taking these uh, Torx screws out. This takes a 7 64 uh, Torx screw. And I also brought along a little paper coffee cup. Um, this little espresso cup is cool for uh, holding screws. I always like to keep a big sleeve of them in my shop just to uh, have a place to uh, put screws. So here we go. One down. A few more to go. All right, so now that we have the screws out, um, I brought a couple of tools with me. I have two uh, little tiny precision screwdrivers. I have a pair of tweezers and I have some zip ties. So my logic here is I'm gonna try to pry up the edges as gently as I can. And if, if it wants to fall back down, I'm just gonna space it out with these zip ties. So here we go. All right, so the VCA module came out pretty easily. Um, I struggled a bit at the end because I wanted to find a good way to put this down without damaging it. Um, the Midas repair tech that I talked to said that there are some ribbon cables, um, and he was correct. But now that we've got this thing out, I just want to show you just the inside of this thing. So these are our VCA cards. Now from just a very first glance, there are date codes on a lot of this that, that are showing that it is from 2000. So I'm gonna have to assume that this is the original VCA module, which I guess there would be no reason why it, it wouldn't. But uh, anyway, there's that. So here's the uh, ribbon connectors on the back or the ribbon cables on the back. I'm sorry, I'm trying to reach over this console with this gimbal. Um, so I could, I totally get why these could be uh, plugged in wrong. And my Midas tech told me that it is absolutely imperative to label these ribbon cables. So that is the first thing that I'm going to do. All right, so I've got the VCA module out, um, and this little green guy right here is our battery. Um, so this actually needs to be desoldered from the board, um, which at, at this point is gonna have to be a project for another day. So I ordered the battery, it should be here in a few days. So I think we're gonna make a separate video on just desoldering that from the board and replacing it. So. Um, the thing about these consoles, what I have learned is, and believe me, I am not a Midas Heritage expert. This is a learn-as-you-go kind of situation. So anybody watching these videos that can offer any bit of technical support or things I should be aware of, please uh, drop a comment. Um, this, needs to, this needs to be soldered. There's two points right there, and then there's another one uh, that's on the back. So I, I ordered the battery, it should be here in a few days. So here's what I did as far as the labeling goes on this guy. So 
each of the ribbon cables, I decided just to call them uh, one through six because there are six of them. And then we are just gonna, and I just have little arrows just to make sure that these are uh, are going left to right. So there's um, there was another unused socket that was right here. So I just put a piece of spike tape on it um, just to confirm when I put this all back together that it's it's unused. And then this is the sixth one. Now there's uh, I'm assuming that this is obviously the the master uh, power supply for the board. Um, so there's actually another ribbon cable that's underneath of this, um, which I will show you in the next video when we take this all apart. So um, here's the first video as far as the repair. So come back for part two when we uh, change the battery. Thanks for stopping by.